Hi, this is Elizabeth. I want to talk to you about the self-striping cardigan that I just designed for Knit Circus. And there's a, a part of this where you uh, join all of the pieces together. So you have worked the body up to the armholes and you've worked the sleeves up to the armholes and now you've got to join everything together into one piece to, to work the yoke all together. And I just want to show you one part of this that might be a little it's a little easier to show in video than it is to explain in words. So when you first join these pieces together on the first, say, 10 rows or so, you're probably going to find that when you get to the sleeve portion, so here's my sleeve and there's the little lace part that runs right down the center, when you get to this sleeve portion, you might find that it's a little difficult to get around the corner, that the stitches are kind of really straining to get around this corner on those first 10 rows or so of the yoke. So here is a tip that will help you ease that process. And it comes from uh, Magic Loop. If you know how to do Magic Loop, this will seem very familiar, but I wanted to show those of you who have never done this before. What you would do is, you know, and you can see the stitches are really kind of stretching out on the needle and it's going to be kind of hard to work around this corner. So to ease that, I'm going to go right here to the center stitch. This is the lace panel. And you don't have to do the center stitch, but I just like to do that just to keep track of where I am. There's the center stitch right there. I'm just going to pull the cable out right next to that stitch and just kind of pull an ear of it out. It's a little awkward, especially if you have a fairly stiff cable like this one. But you can see I'm just kind of pulling a long ear, as they call it in Magic Loop Land, a long ear of it out. And that way I can just knit right up to this point, or actually I'm purling at the moment, I'm on the wrong side row. I'll work right up to this point and I'll show you what you do next in just a moment. So I'm going to work from where I am right now. I was starting to notice it was hard to slide the stitches up. So I pulled the ear out now, and now I can just slide the stitches up easily to work on them. I'll show you what happens when I get to this point. If you know how to do magic loop, you probably won't even need to watch that part, but if you've never done it before, watch the next part too. Be right back. Okay, so here I am on those last few stitches before we hit the ear. And I'll just work across those. And now I've got to Oops, let me get my needle tip out of the way. I need to be over here working on these stitches. So basically what I need to do is just slide these stitches up onto a needle tip, onto their needle tip so they can be worked like this. This isn't usually so clumsy, but I'm trying to do it on camera, which makes it a little clumsier. So here's the next stitch I need to work, which means I need this to be a little more flexible. So I'm actually pulling on this so there's a little more wiggle room with this cable and needle. So I'll just pull this needle out so I have a right-hand needle that's ready to go. First stitch is a knit, and then I just start working across these stitches, and you just want to snug that first stitch up so that it's next to, right up next to its cousins on the cable. And then you just start working this way. And you can see I've still got this, this ear going here. And this is why I recommend in the pattern that, especially if you're knitting at one of the larger sizes, and I would say really anything from the size 40 on up, um, the 40 inch chest, finished chest size on up, that you go ahead and use a really long needle for this part of the process, and really the whole sweater. Um, so that would be, I mean, the, I think the largest, the longest cable that you can get is a 60 inch cable. And if you can find one of those, I would go ahead and get one because uh, when you when you first join the sleeves onto the yoke, you've actually got more than your, your bust size of stitches on the needle because you've got your arms in there too now. So you want as long a cable as you can possibly get so that you can pull an ear out without having to bunch your stitches up too much. All right.